Hi, welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we are going to look at finding the exponential matrix, and we're going to use two examples. The first one we're going to use is the matrix A is very simple, 0, 0, 1, 0. All right, let's see if we can write this as the exponential matrix. So remember what this means. So the exponential matrix E to the AT, this means I plus A times T plus 1 half A squared T squared plus, let's go one more, 1 sixth A cubed T cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Well, that means, notice that by this third term, we are going to need to find a squared, and, and then the fourth term, we're going to need a cubed. Let's try that. So let's find what a squared is. So a squared is 0, 0, 1, 0 times 0, 0, 1, 0. Notice that's just, oh, that's a 0, row, 1 column 2 is 0, and row 2 column 1 is 0, and whoa, that's just 0. Well, if a squared is the matrix of zeros, then a cubed is also going to be, and so on. So when we write this, we can say e to the a t is equal to the identity, which is uh, 1, 0, 0, 1 plus the matrix of A times T. That's going to be 0, 0, T, 0. So that is going to be the matrix of 1, 0, T, 1. OK. All right, now let's think about the solution that this provides us. So remember what we said. We said if Y prime equals um, A times y, then our solution, so then the solution is y equals e to the a t times, times some initial conditions y of 0. But let's think about if we were to write this. This is y vector. Remember, that's y1 and y2. equals uh, 1, 0, t, 1 times, and let's just say our, our initial conditions, we don't know, maybe it's some c1 and c2. Well, if you multiply this out, this is c1 plus c2 times t, and it's also uh, c2, c2 times just C2. Now you might think, well, that doesn't seem that significant. Well, what remember what we said the eigenvalues were. The eigenvalues were 0, so really this is C1e to the 0t plus C2e, oops, C2te to the 0t. And our second solution is C2e to the 0t. That is what that's telling us. So it works like we might expect. All right, let's try another example. Um, I'm going to take, so we'll start it on this one. We'll probably go on to another page rather quickly. Let's just change the matrix of A just a little bit. We're going to um, uh, solve, solve. A, oops, so if y prime equals A this time is 1, 1, 0, 1 times y. Now, if I was to do this with eigenvalues and eigenvectors, the difficulty here is notice that I'm going to have repeated eigenvalues of 1 and 1. And so the problem with that then is I'm, I'm only going to have. Um, I'm going to have another resonant solution, and we saw how to do that earlier. Well, let's see how the matrix exponential works. So remember, our solution is of the form y equals some initial condition y of 0 times e to the at. All right, well, let's just figure out what is e to the at. 
Well, that is e to the a t is um, is i plus a, which is one zero one one times t plus one half times a squared one zero one one times one zero one one times t squared and we'll do uh, one more of these but before i do that i'll show you what we're going to do we're going to go uh, i plus one zero one one times t plus one half times now if i multiply these two i'm going to get uh, row one times column one is one row one times column two that's going to be a two row 2 times column 1 is going to be a 0, and row 2 times column 2 is going to be a 1, t squared, plus, and what's going to happen is this next one is going to become 1 over 3 factorial, which is 1 sixth, times 1, 3, 0, 1. It's just going to keep adding up, and we have t cubed. Okay, well, the question then becomes, how do these work out? Well, let's write this out again as i plus t, <clears throat> t, t, zero, plus one half times, this is going to be a t, two t, t, zero, plus one six, and I should have up here plus dot, 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 times, one sixth times, this is going to be a t cubed, zero, three t cubed, and a t cubed. And then plus dot, 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 and this is gonna go on. So I'm gonna take this, let's go to another page. Okay, so here we are. Remember, this is this is our e working here on um, e to the a t. Well, let's just look at let's just look at um, the one. We'll call this um, a one one. So, in other words, if if I was to just take, I'm just looking at the top left component of each matrix. Well, I'm going to have a one from the identity plus a t from the second matrix plus a one-half, and oops, those should be t squareds, t squareds, uh, one-half t squared, plus, then I'm gonna have a one-sixth t cubed, plus dot, dot, dot. Well, what we say that is, that's just e to the t. And also, that's going to be the same result for a two, two. And then, if we add up, uh, let's see, our a, row two, column one. Well, that's going to be a bunch of zeros. And then the difficult one is what in the world is a two, one? Well, if we write it out, we have a zero, and we have a t, then we have um, one half times two t squared, that's just a t squared, plus then I have one six times three t cubed. Well, that's really one half t cubed plus, and if I was to carry this out, I'd have 1 24th, but I'd have a four, so that'd be 1 6th t to the fourth. Well, look at this. If I factor a t, I have one plus t plus 1 half t squared plus um, 1 6th t cubed, and then that also goes out forever. <clears throat> Well, what is that? That's just t times e to the t, which it shouldn't be surprising if we recall that the matrix of A 
has repeated eigenvalues, 1, 1. So we have a resonance issue here. And there we go. So now we can say that our solution is y equals e to the at times some initial condition. Well, now we have it. Our e to the at is the matrix of e to the t, t e to the t, 0 e to the t times whatever our initial conditions vector is, y of 0. And that's how we can use this to solve this. All right, I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.